If you're new to my channel, my name is Johnny. I'm an artist. I'm a musician. I like knives, multi-tools. I like taking them into the woods. I like doing care and maintenance of my tools as well. I have several videos on my channel to that effect. In this video, what I'm going to do is do some care and maintenance on my most used Buck 110. It's the one that lives on my counter. I'll put a link at the top here. If you want to go see my most used knife, that's right, it lives on my kitchen counter. I use it pretty much for everything. If you're wondering why the Boss is not in this video and the Luzon is in its place, it's because I'll be doing a video on that Luzon sometime in the future. The next couple of videos, I will be on a road trip. So we'll see what that's like. Some of you like my road trip videos. It'll be an into the woods slash overlanding kind of a video. Let's see where that goes. But anyway, you're here right now because you want to see a little bit on my Buck 110 and what I do to keep it maintained or in good shape. I'm also doing this video because I know others out there have just picked up a bunch of these and this kind of information might be valuable to them if they've never come across a Buck 110 before. Now I know and a lot of you hardcore out there you know all about this. So, without further ado, let's roll right into it. I'm not going to waste anybody's time. Again, I've put a half, a half stop on this a long time ago as one of my mods. I actually like the half stop for that reason right there. Anyway, I ran it under some hot water everywhere, inside, outside, just to get some of the... Uh, the food particles that were kind of starting to build up inside the nail neck and there was some, um, I don't know if it was dough or some stuff that was really hard to come off. Even with hot water, I had to give it a scrub. And uh, using the cutting board, let's see how, how, how well the 420HC is held up. Let's come on this side here. So it's, it's due for a little bit of love, a little bit of TLC. It's not so well right now. I would say it's downright, downright nasty. So let's give it a little bit of love. So where do I start? And this would apply, except for maybe the sharpening portion of it, of this video that is, uh, most of this will apply to someone who's just bought a brand new buck 110 for example or 112 so I always recommend opening it in the half position and just grabbing some WD-40 that's all I use and we're going to give it a squirt on the inside now if yours is brand new you're going to have a lot of black soot inside there. And what you want to do is just kind of work it. Just kind of work it. Yours, yours won't have a half stop, so it'll be a little bit smoother. Mine's kind of chinking at that area. Just kind of work it in there. After a little while, you're going to start to see a bunch of black soot or communism coming out of the bottom of the... Um, knife here all you want to do is just kind of keep collecting it just keep collecting it and keep wiping it right inside this area until it's just clean now in my case it's not going to be too much communism in there because i've been cleaning it with hot water regularly and um, the communism doesn't like the hot water seems to run away and uh, I've got a lot of uh, Marxism in there right now so I just kind of clean it up then what I'll do is I'll take the old q-tip and just kind of ram that in there until it's nice and flat uh, be careful at this stage that you don't kind of run your finger across there or your thumb. 
You can see I do have a little bit of communism in there mixed in with the Marxism. And I'm just running it the entire length and just kind of collecting that nastiness. And then of course, just along here as well. Again, if yours is new, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of black stuff in there. Also running it inside the blade tang area just collecting as much as I possibly can. You continue to do this. Now, some of you might have um, an, an air gun, like something like this, but with air. Once you're satisfied that all that communism, Marxism and fascism is all out, you might want to blow it all out and send all that crap where it belongs. So that might be the case. Let's assume that it's all dry and we're satisfied. It's clean and dry. The next thing I do is I take some, just looking for it here, good old fashioned three in one. I'll put one drop. You can see I've got my half stop flat tang there, but yours will be round more than likely. Let's see if I can't focus this and drop in one drop. Well, that's it. Just one drop on the round portion of the blade tang, and then it'll work its way down and just kind of Work it in nice. Go ahead and pick up all the leftover residue, especially in this area, on both sides of the lock bar. Don't take too much of it out, but just kind of clean it up a little bit. Any excess should be good. You can see it kind of right on here. We can get rid of that as well. We can use the uh, cloth, whatever. And while I'm at it, I like to take just a little bit a WD on perhaps the corner of this cloth. Something like that, not much. And just go around those nice brass bolsters. Nothing special. I'm not pulling out the Brasso or the Never Dull or any of that kind of stuff. You could. I do have some Never Dull here on the workbench. It's just over there, but I'm not gonna pull it out. I wanna keep this as simple as possible. Most people have WD-40 at home. If you don't, get yourself a little tiny spray bottle. Just keep it in your toolbox or your junk drawer in the kitchen. So I'm just wiping off everything and that's it. Okay, so mine was gonna be a little bit simpler than your brand new one perhaps, but it's running nice and smooth. If centering is an issue and you wanna get yours centered, if you take the hobby that far, we can talk about that in a future video. So I'm satisfied, it's nice and clean. Even smells nice, it smells uh, kind of WD-40-ish. So we know that the edge is not so good. Let's move the Luzon just a little further out of the way. Let's bring in the Sharp Maker now. Some of you are not gonna have a Sharp Maker. This one's by Spyderco. Let's see if I can find the, uh, the original. Here it is here. I'm not trying to sell this. I don't work for Spyderco. I'm not a sponsored channel, but this is what I use primarily on my Buck 110. I also have a 
couple of different types of methods of sharpening, but I don't really want to go over those in this one. I've got some diamond type stones here if I really want to reprofile, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to these ones here first, and then we'll go to these soft or the harder ones last. I am on a 30 degree back bevel. And we'll do it exactly the way Spyderco recommends doing this. And then the angle is going to be kind of funny. So I'll do the best I can. You can tell your friends that I'm all to blame. You can live in your circle of lies. You can cast your spells, give me all you have. Cause I've seen what's behind your eyes. Yeah, I've taken heed of your wicked ways. And no, you can't put a spell on me. You can't play your voodoo game. Call me up on my telephone You can cry me a river of tears You can tell me how I was the only one You've been loving me for so many years Yeah, I've taken heed of your wicked ways And no, you can't put a hex on me You can't play your voodoo game You play with your tarot card You read the stars and you read my hand You even read a cup of tea I'm taking heed of your wicked ways And no, you can't put a spell on me You can't play your voodoo game Okay, so in conclusion, all we did was give up our, uh, our communism and our Marxism and our fascism to a nice clean buck 110. And we put a nice edge on it. Nothing serious, nothing heavy duty. It's good to go for another 100,000 tomatoes and carrots on the counter. The multi, multi-use, multi-talented buck 110 highly recommended i'm going to go on a road trip i think i'm going to take a buck 110 i don't know if i'll take this one or not probably take one with me once again don't feel that you uh don't have to give me a thumb or a dislike or whatever the heck you want to do i really don't care we'll see you on the next video maybe bye for now you can't play